All right. So we've been talking about counter arguments. Um, and now let's just take a look. I mean, e e the, the, the counter arguments are so important because it makes your argument very sophisticated. It also addresses really sort of uh, what could be perceived as faults in your logic, right? <clears throat> um, when we scream and yell and call each other stupid, we're not using logic. logic. We're just using emotion. And I don't know what to do with emotion. Um, there's nothing to say. It's just like, okay, you're angry and now I'm going to walk away. But when we use logic, when we say these are the reasons I think, you know, da, 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 these are the reasons why I think uh, President Trump should be impeached, you know, and they lay them out, and these are the reasons I think they should not be impeached, then I can look at both of those and start to rationalize, okay, so these reasons are starting to outweigh these reasons or these reasons outweigh these, right? And one of the things you can do when you're arguing is then address those issues, right? So if I was sorry, you know, I am for allowing students in cell phones in school, well, I already know that the school does not want them, right? I already know that the school thinks they're going to be a distraction. So I would go ahead in my argument and just say, while many believe that cell phones are a huge distraction, right? You know, and then I address that. Uh, many teachers feel that cell phones will take away from learning, right? And I address the argument, but I don't say something that is a logical fallacy, right? I don't say that, well, that's a stupid idea. Well, teachers don't know anything. Well, they're old and they didn't grow up with cell phones, right? All of those are emotional arguments. Instead, I want to actually say what they um, um, are maybe even accurate. While it is true that cell phones can be distracting and people immerse themselves in text messaging, this only happens when da 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 da. So I should usually, if the other side is intelligent and has given intelligent thought to their argument, right, it will come out um, uh, that it's not completely wrong. Right. It's, you can disagree with it and not have it be completely wrong. Right. So you want to address it and give it a fair and balanced shake. So um, here is something um, just sort of looking at this. This is about child soldiers. Um, I don't want to read this. Uh, if you can pause your video if you wanted to read it right now. But I've highlighted, underlined this before considering that evidence. However, to be fair, it would not be easy for a child to disobey or set on his own. Again. I am essentially saying in this sort of section, right, um, that uh, uh, that you know that fair and balanced that there is some truth or validity in the counter arguments, right, and that's important. Um, this is what it might look like in a capstone paper. Notice I've highlighted here this. It's not that you have counter arguments every paragraph, right? That would be a little bit overload. Um, but in a, a paper of this size, uh, especially in your argument section, there should be at least one, right? Um, I'm not asking for a million. Um, I'm not asking for every paragraph or every thought, right? I'm asking that you bring a sophisticated um, um, view to your paper that it is um, um, recognizes that this is a complex issue with many sides, right? And so here we have Amalia saying, uh, many argue that since there are refugees all around the world, it is unfair to prioritize the immigration of just one group of people. Though this is a fair point, right? Again, acknowledging that there is some validity to it, right? Then she goes on to explain while it is not the right way to think, right? Uh, from her perspective, okay? So all of that is, I mean, this is as simple as what I'm talking about, but counter arguments are a great way to make your paper that there is this conversation going on, that you are not uh, the first person to look at this issue, right? And there have been people, you know, saying this, and there have been people saying that. Um, and then what is it that you are bringing? You're listening to both sides, and then you're bringing your voice to add to the conversation.